up, fish fam? I'm Dan from Michigan Aquatics, and today we're going to be talking about how to tell if your convict cichlids got eggs. So I just dumped some food in the tank to get them all eating and all in, uh, all in their feeding colors. The jags feeding colors are honestly the most impressive out of all the fish I've kept. Um, feeding colors. She gets really, really pretty, really, really dark and vibrant when she eats. Basically, her colors that she does when she flares up, she does in feeding mode. Maybe to show that she's the dominant in the tank, which is why she looks like a male. But I assure you, I've properly sexed her and she's a female. This is my male convict cichlid. His name is Felony, and the other, my female, is Misdemeanor. Now, uh, you may notice that my female is not very pretty at all. She is very bland in color. That's usually a sign that your convict cichlids have eggs because she has no reason to color up to impress the male if she's already got babies. Just like how mothers usually don't put on makeup is the same thing with these convict cichlids. They don't want to be pretty if they don't have to be pretty. Another thing you'll notice is this. They they never did this unless they had eggs. Um, the jaguar is eating their eggs, it seems. <laughs> Once it is realized that she's under there eating their eggs, though, um, the convicts will go over there. Oh, no, she stopped. Such a sneaky fish. Sneaky. Well, this big old ant hill over here under the water is actually from the convicts digging. Um, digging all that out up under there. Oh, 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 oh. Frank. Getting into fights. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, oh, okay. This isn't this isn't funny anymore. Ooh, that time Frank attacked her. She's going in for the sneaky. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm just I'm just eating the brine shrimp and blood worms and mice shrimp. That's all I'm doing. I'm not eating your guys' eggs, not at all. Liar. A mouth full of eggs. Mean fish. But anyway, you can tell how my female's colors are very bland. Now, if you look at my previous videos, like my Cichlid Talk Friday video on the convict cichlids, you will notice that she was very bright in color. She only just recently laid eggs, which have now been destroyed by the jaguar. I think she did it last night, and they laid more, and then she did it again because I guess it tastes really good to her, good enough to sneak in there. Because usually these two do a really good job at defending it, but for some reason my male... Felony is all the way over here, and she's all the way over here staying by the nest. But obviously the first sign that they are either planning on having eggs or already have them is they have a cave picked out, and they've dug it out under it. Now originally this was already dug out. They dug out that whole area over there, even though it gave them this area to dig out. They decided to dig out the complete opposite side, which now the jag is comprehending here. I have no clue what's wrong with my male. He's sitting over here just eating away on the jag side. But on my Cichlid Talk Friday, I did the convict cichlids. Make sure to go check that video out. That has a whole bunch of stuff about the convict cichlids. I could probably name more, but I wasn't thinking of anything more at the time. But this one's how to tell if they got eggs. I'm sorry, there's a little bit of algae on the tank. I don't know how that develops overnight. I just cleaned it yesterday. Nope. Get her. Get her, bite her, bite her. Here he is. Pay attention. Felony. See, look what you going away did. You made your eggs get eaten. I, I honestly do not care. I, I'm not trying to breed convicts. But the digging is a big part in, um... A lot of people don't like it when they dig because they knock over stuff and it's very annoying to them. I like it. I love it when they dig because they decorate the tank how they want it. They move things around. This is the jag side here. She completely dug out this all the way down to the under gravel filter. Um, they knocked over this right here. They knocked over this rock. Dug under here. Under there is my feather fin catfish. I wish I could get him to come out. Um, he came out last time I fed him. But, um, he didn't come out today. I don't know why. He's right there, though. Really cool. Ooh. Peacock bass versus jaguar cichlid. 
I, I actually haven't made a lot of those videos. Um, they fight pretty often, but um, for some reason my fight videos get a lot of views. Convicts and the Peacock fight a lot. The Convicts fight everyone. You can learn more about their aggression and fighting abilities in my Sickle Talk Friday video. This Friday, I think I'm going to do either the Peacock Bass or the Jaguar Cichlid, wherever she is. But the other way to tell if your convicts have eggs is the female will be very discolored. She will look almost like the male. Her colors will almost be like the male. She'll have a little bit of blue and a little bit of orange left still, but she'll mostly look just like the male, and it's not focusing on her. I promise you my water isn't like that. It's not focusing, though. I don't know why. It'll focus on her, won't it? Yeah, it'll focus on her, but it won't focus on the set of the tank. I don't know why. Get in. Yeah, there's a good... Uh, it would have been a good view if this algae wasn't in the way. It's not even afraid of the scrubber. Look at him. Beast mode. There, now, I, now I can finally get that shot. But a lot of times that female will be discolored a lot. Stop barking. I'm not going to listen. That female will be discolored if she has eggs under a rock or something. Um, they'll be heavily defending it a lot harder than they usually would. You can see the jag is still taking advantage that they're still looking for food. They shouldn't be hungry anymore, but I guess they are. Uh, you can't defend two spots. Pick one. Pick one. You can pick the side that you spent weeks on. Or you can pick their side that this, that they spent days on. It's your choice. But that's the it's it's very simple telling if your convicts have eggs. A lot of people say go in there and lift up the rock. Don't do that. Um, it can mess up the eggs or it can blow them all around and stuff. I just prefer to leave everything alone. Leave the tank alone if they have eggs. You know, if the eggs hatch and they and a few of them survive, that's cool because then you get a then you then you just got more convict cichlids. But I do have a peacock bass, so if any of them did get big enough, like, to, like, this long or anything, or, like, this long, something like that, a little bit smaller than them, he'd probably eat them. Because he was trying to eat felony right here when I first got him, because he was, um, really small. He was extremely small when I got him, but, um, grew like a weed. But it looks like she's getting back into her breeding colorations again. Um, you can see a little bit of her orange coming back in, a lot more of her blues are coming back in, but... She still is out a lot of it. You can see he's chasing her around. That's common for breeding convicts to do. If you want me to do a whole video on how to breed convict cichlids, I will. Because it's extremely easy. And it literally takes nothing. But the more tips you get, the better, right? For the new subscribers that subscribed last night, it might be a little off-putting that I am 14. And um, Palmer... Aquatics wants to do a collaboration with me. I would love to do that with him. Um, I live in Michigan. He lives in Minnesota. So we'd have to find a way to connect, call each other or something. But I would definitely do that. He's probably not going to want to once he figures out that I am technically a kid. Yet I know all this stuff about fish. But I want to just say thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel last night. That's eight people that subscribed to me over the course of one night um, I was at 27 I'm at 35 now thank you all so much and I was just striving for 30 I love you all my channel is run by mainly what Palmer Aquatics was ran on as well so I haven't been uploading I don't get enough questions from viewers to do videos on that's what my channel runs off of mainly is your guys's questions I will constantly still try to think of new topics. The Fish Talk Friday was one of them. Um, I tried to buy a mouse um, so I could do a whole bunch of videos on that, but it doesn't seem like people are going to be too interested in that. So I love her. I love Angel. Oh, here they go. Finally, you guys defend this. Ooh. I will be doing more fish fight videos, but remember this. These fish fight videos are not provoked. I do not make them happen. These are just the fish's natural everyday occurrences, what they do every day 
um, defending territories, um, getting into little fights, not the major lip locking. I don't break up fights. It's all part of nature. If one fish kills the other, it wasn't meant to be in there sort of thing. So why I let my jag kill the Oscar, you know, if it's going to get killed, it's not, it's not allowed to be in there. Oh, she finally went back in her house and she's realizing because of what she did, she doesn't have any more eggs. Sucks, but it's her fault. It's her own fault. That is about it for this video, you guys. Make sure you drop a like. It'll mean a lot. And if anyone is new to the channel, um, leave a comment down below on what video I should do that you want to know about. As well, if you're stumbling upon this video, just searching through your YouTube recommended. Hit that subscribe button. It'll mean a lot. And I will try to still upload almost every single day. Be ready for Fish Talk Friday. If any of you have anything else that you want to hear about on Fish Talk Friday, leave it in the comments down below as well. That is about all the time I have for this video. I have to get back to my schoolwork. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Fish on. Yeah. <laughs>